My desired outcome for this trip would be that we can identify and map out the reefs that are most resilient to heat stress linked to global warming. Because those are the areas where we've got to direct our management activities to ensure their maximal health and their ability to fight back and persist into the future. Today, reefs are really under threat. They, are, uh, they have a lot of impacts from things like climate change, uh, sea surface temperature rise, sea level rise, um, and in most of the places that we work, they're also really heavily impacted by fisheries impacts and by land-based sources of pollution. We start with a transect line uh, and we lay out our, our transect line um, as we are uh, enumerating the fish and getting an idea of uh, what fish species are there, what's their abundances, what's their sizes, especially for the food fish with, with uh, functional roles on the reef that we need. The team right behind them will come in and they'll be starting to enumerate the coral assemblage. And the coral assemblage is uh, surveyed by placing one square meter quadrats or uh, areas. And within these uh, subsets or plots, study plots on the reef, what's going on is every coral is identified. And once it's identified, we're taking the diameters of these colonies. One of the great things about this trip is how it brings together uh, the one conservancy model. There are people on board, uh, including myself from Washington. We have people from California, Colorado, and then across Micronesia, Saipan, Guam, Chuuk, uh, Yap, Pompeii. Uh, so it's great to, to see the whole conservancy pull together. Uh, my role on this trip is taking uh, benthic photography. I, I basically take photographs of the bottom of wherever we're surveying, just to give a profile of that site. So tomorrow we're going to go and visit the community of Oneso. We're going to meet with the elders, the traditional chiefs and the reef owners. We're going to see they want to close some of the reefs. Fisheries are really in trouble, so I hope the meeting goes well. What you say you want fish because you want to eat fish. Mm. So need to find balance. Eh? But this is only open for will be closed forever. And you say the mangroves over there too. Even the mangrove. They happy to work with us to protect the reef, so we get more. We can have more uh, fish for the future. I believe that there will be lots of fish in ten years. It's a surprisingly long day. We go from about 6:30 in the morning to 8 o'clock at night. Uh, three dives, more than three hours underwater, and then a lot of time in the evening entering data, discussing what we saw and for us citizen scientists, uh, better educating ourselves uh, each day about what to look for. The kind of information that we have been collecting with our team um, is really good information for managers to, ba to base management decisions on. But I think with good management over the whole of Chuk um, and all the reef systems that there's a very good chance for the corals to recover. So the trip has been incredibly successful. Uh, we've accessed reefs that we couldn't ever get to before in Micronesia. We've surveyed over 75 sites. That's the equivalent of what we get in the rest of the region during a year. We've measured over 7,000 coral colonies, over 7,000 individual fish over 15,000 individual benthic data points. So we have this massive amount of data. That is the foundation for developing and implementing a system of conservation areas that is designed to help the reefs of the whole of Chuk survive. Community participation uh, on a local level is a critical way of managing reefs. Oh, I would do it again, yes. I would definitely do it again. I, I am one of the fishermen in Chuk. 
we need to put our hands together. It's going to help me a lot when I go back home uh, to become better in what I do. And the Micronesia Challenge is about spreading the information and the positive conservation movement from community to community, from state to state, and from region to region. And, and so at its heart, with the data that we have, we're able to propel both local and regional conservation forward.